Sharon joins us live now in studio. How you doing, honey? So, winter's here. It's hitting us hard. And some people think this time of year, oh, it feels very gray and very black and very blah. You want to punch things up. Using color can do that. It's an easy way to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We do it with our hair. We do it with yes. our fashion. So right. why not bring a little bit of color into your home? It can make such a difference. Totally. Um, and one thing I, you know, I really wanted to mention is that it doesn't have to be an eye-popping, you know, crazy yellow, crazy red, crazy blue. It yeah. can be calmer colors. It's just the idea of bringing something in to kind of infiltrate that grayness, as we were saying. That's so right. I wanted to showcase for our first look, Benjamin Moore's Blue Echo. Now this is a color from our 2016 trend card. It's actually my favorite in the card. It's I love beautiful. this color, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, you love it. Well, it's, a, it's a calming blue. It's, it is. It's so it's very vibrant, calming. but it's got that sort of subtle, yeah. sort of a gray. It's got a, it's got a little bit of a gray undertone, and because it's got a little bit of yellow in it, it almost mm -hmm. makes blue a little warmer, which is what I really like about it. I tend to like the warmer colors. So yeah. that in the backdrop, in a nice matte finish, you get this texture story. But then I wanted to bring in warmth, and mm -hmm. I have to say I'm pretty grayed out. It's been 10 years of designing oh, no. with gray, and everybody, I love it, but, and don't worry, I don't have to get rid of it all, but when I saw this beautiful brown distressed leather sofa at Urban Barn, I was like, I gotta have it. Like, yeah, I, this is warm. I've gotta it's warm, and mm -hmm. it feels sort of fresh because it's just that, that warm color as opposed to the cooler gray. So right. I really wanted to work that in. So that was kind of my, um, the beacon in the store as I got started with picking accessories. So it was a bit of balance here. So we've got the, the blue echo on the wall and then the warm sort of brown tones. Um, I love that you can, I mean, having an original piece of art, there's no replacing that. However, you can pick up some really interesting pieces at places like Urban Barn that are, um, that are, that are mass produced. That's, that's, that's from Urban Barn. So very nice. it looks like it's been a photograph printed on wood. So you see the grain of the wood. So it has this really nice depth playing with the positive and negative space on that. Yeah. And then it's just a little bit of wood, which is again, warmer. And I think it looks great on the wall. Not it that you absolutely have to always does. match, but it happens to, right? It happens to match and it's working. So again, so to bring in the browns, the warm, even the rug, it's as you can see, it's got a lot of gray in it, but it's very warm grays. Geometric pattern, I think adding pattern and texture also helps to warm things up. Yeah. And then the strong teal in the side chair. Now That's I gorgeous. love this. Isn't it gorgeous? And I think what I think is so fantastic about this is that you can't, there was years ago you couldn't buy something like this off the floor. You'd have to custom order a strong color, but we're not afraid of color anymore, right? We're like getting think, there. It's we're baby steps. Because as, as, as soon as you said you're sick of gray, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> that's what everyone is embracing right now. It's the design true. world's been doing it for a while, but now in people's homes right now, they're We're embracing the gray. And we are getting a little bit more comfortable with color. Well, that's it. And if you so have a gray scheme, even bringing something like this into your space yeah. can just liven things up and add that bit of color. So love that. Works with, again, it's just like a, a stronger version of Blue Echo. But it's, it's bringing in those unexpected things. And I just brought my color wheel to sort of show back to, um, you know, color theory, compliments. Yeah. So we've got this blue, green, gray happening, and then we add just a tiny little bit of red, orange, red, and that just kind of pops. So something simple like the flowers. Yeah. So, you know, it's something really simple like that. There's a little bit of that color, a little bit of red and orange in the cushion, and a tiny little piece in the boat in the in the print. So it's balancing the, the warm with the cool. Absolutely. So we'll show later a little bit more eye-popping color, but I wanted to get you a sense of something more neutral right. that's warm, um, but not too crazy. But we'll get crazy. Yeah, we're going to get crazy. We're going to get crazy. That's right. <laughs> I think it's nice to start with this and then work your way up, yes, right? Absolutely. So beautiful color. We are in this same space but we are alive and vibrant <laughs> with a new wall color this is this is beautiful this is ravishing red and mm -hmm. it's also one of the colors from the Benjamin Moore 2016 trends so I love how it's almost the complete opposite of blue echo it it's is. bright it's clear and so again for the cost of paint you can really get a completely different feel in this space it right. still works with the warmth of the leather the teal I think is still fantastic in fact it pops out even more Right. So when you want to be more dramatic, when you use a lot of color in your, um, uh, you know, again in your clothing, yeah. why not bring some of that into your home? Yeah. So this is this is our example of getting crazy. Getting crazy. But I'll tell you something. Getting crazy in this way, I think, is a lot more palatable for people because yeah. there's still, once again, that undertone that that tones this whole red yeah. down. And exactly. It's not a bright, bright red. 
You're right. And it's also all the other things that you've got with it that you've probably already got in your home, like yeah. your rug and your sofa. And again, it's mixing a lot of those neutrals in and for, and textures with the carpet and the poof and the yeah. table. Like you want to bring all of that in. So did we already look at the previous? Let's take a or? look at that. Okay. Just so you can see how different the space looks depending on the wall yeah. color. Ooh. There we've got the blue echo. Yeah, it's still nice. But it's, it's, it's beautiful, but it's a calming. lot more subtle. Yep. And then back once again to the ravishing red. Isn't that great? I feel I like we should do a strip tease or something <laughs> in here. I don't know. It's like ravishing. Did you say that? Ravishing. <laughs> so cool. Okay. Love it. We have all sorts of other examples of using paint to really yep. have some bang, some oomph, some beat the blahs. Really make a statement, Starting right? Starting with yellow, yeah. which I think is a color a lot of people uh, are hesitant to deal with. Yep. But when you think about it in a kitchen space, it makes a lot of sense. I think so. You've got everyone has white, lots of white kitchens, yes. and to add that strong pop of color in there, you don't need a coffee in the morning. You know, <laughs> you look at that when you're getting up in the morning, and it's not a big space, right? Right. So it's a perfect amount. As you say, we're getting a little bit less afraid to at least wear bright colors. Yes. We've got the gorgeous yellow in our audience today, and I was all over I this woman. There's something <laughs> about it. You see it, and you just feel happy. Yes, it's I'm happy. It's so nice. It's the sun. Perfect for the middle of winter. I love it. What about a sof sophisticated French press is what yes. you call it. So the there's deep helps, espressos, it? right? Yes, beautiful, warm. And this is actually the same color French press on different parts of that living room or of that kitchen area. So you can see how where you have have a lot of sunlight. That's the same? It's the same color. It's oh. just the different effects of light. So again, when people are afraid of dark colors to warm things up, you gotta realize that what's gonna happen in your in your space, it's gonna evolve throughout the day with the right. sunlight. And again, against the white, as it was in that space, it was still quite um, quite a nice contrast. Really nice. And then there's blue. The blues are always nice. Uh, we talked a little bit about a teal type yes. blue here, and you're gonna see that in these and this pictures one's here. teal ocean. And I think whenever you think of that bright teal, you automatically think about a beach holiday. So so yeah. certainly in the middle of uh, the winter in Canada, that is a great color. And whether you don't want to do it, maybe you don't want to do it on the whole wall, try painting your door or small yeah. accents with a strong color like that. That's true. And then another blue. So this is a different kind yeah, of blue. It's less green. this is Patriot blue. This is like a rich sort of cobalt blue. And what I love about that is you think, oh, you can't get warmed up with blue, but boy, it's vibrant, especially when it's hit against the contrast of the white. It is. And then a bit of that wood that was reclaimed wood as one of the accent walls. So even blue can feel really, uh, have a real pop. A real Absolutely. Statement. Yeah, and cobalt, that cobalt blue is what it's all about. They say it's actually so very true. flattering to wear cobalt. It's I, flattering on everybody. It, oh, that's true. Yeah, you know? so yeah, it'll I be good on your that. walls too. Absolutely. Right? And then sit in front of it and take all your selfies. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>